My dream is to try to convert existing desert into fruitful fields of fonio, which is a high nutritional grain which was growing everywhere in uh, the Sahel area until it was taken away by colonization and replacement of imported foods. First of all, a farmer or a grower takes care of his own uh, food. The second step is that he takes care of the food for his village. Uh, the third is for his region. And then if there's something left, perhaps we in Europe could also taste this very, very tasteful, high nutritional grain called fonio. We have to take care of not only a very, very limited part of a food chain, which is the case now, and they call it one up, one down, so you know to whom you sell, you know from whom you buy, but where his products come from or her products come from is not in the picture. That has to change. That absolutely has to change. So if it works over there, then I'm sure that it will work uh, everywhere in the world. Society means it's a diverse amount of people, it's a diverse group with different purpose, different meaning, different own realities. And that creates a certain complexity in itself. And then you come to this point of you saying, okay, what values do we have? And what value does society have? Do we need to give a value to society? But that's where food becomes real, because society, they've all got one thing in common. We all need to live. If food was freed of scarcity, I think we realize the true potential of food. So why do we truly deny? Why do we seem to deny and, and want to hold on to this precious thing that it is that I have it and you don't? Surely it must make you feel better. I give you what I have too much or I share what we have already. We need inspiration, we need good ideas, we need practical ideas, we need people that help us build the infrastructure around this growing of the Fonio. And so, uh, please, uh, watch out for the meetups at uh, Join uh, Food for All and uh, uh, help us uh, uh, build this commons.